beginning of the year, CompTIA had a press release that they're going to be rolling out a bunch of new certifications. A couple weeks ago, they had another press release with even more new certifications. Now, I'm not talking about the Data X and the Data Sys certifications, which I'm not sure if you guys have seen these before, but these are somewhat new certifications, exam code DYO001, so that is the first of its kind. And then we have the Data Sys Plus DSO001. These are the current certifications on the CompTIA website right now. There's not too many, but they are going to be doubling this over the next, well, I don't think all of these are rolling out this year. I know that the first one is going to be rolling out in July, but let's take a look at the one of two press releases we're going to be uh, seeing today. So this is the one that is the recent one, March 28th, 2024, that they're going to be rolling out a whole ton of, like this is, this is almost as much certifications as they currently have right here. So they're basically making AI versions of all of their certifications. And I would be willing to bet that this is mostly a cash grab of, hey, how can we double our revenue as fast as possible? And this, this could do it. So AI Essentials is coming out. And really, to be to be fair, here's what I think is going to be happening is all of these like security AI plus is going to be a combination of AI Essentials and security. So if you already have those two, if you have a cert, uh, security plus certification and you're going for the AI Essentials certification, or if you already know some AI, because I think this is really going to boil down to uh, three subtopics of AI, machine learning, deep learning, and neural network. So if you have experience in those, then you might be able to just bang this one out. Anything that says essentials or fundamentals is kind of like a basic certification. So if you have more than a basic understanding of these things, then this should be a cakewalk for you. I, I would assume that this should be a cakewalk for you, but I, I also imagine that these are just going to be their normal counterparts and then AI integrated in, the, in them. So if you already have the non-AI version of, let's say, for example, I mean, these are kind of new, uh, AI Architect Plus, AI Prompt Plus, uh, AI Scripting Plus. So these these aren't things that we currently have, but for some of the other ones like Cybersecurity Analyst AI Plus, Pentest AI Plus, Security AI Plus, these are just going to be the core certifications mixed with the three foundational elements of the AI Essentials, machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. Press release number two, this is actually from earlier in the year, January 3rd, 2024, but we didn't do a video on it. We didn't talk about it at all. So this is talking about not just their AI, because AI is just one little part of what they're rolling out. They're basically doubling their certifications and then some, it's a very, I think they even say, yeah, ambitious 2024 product vision doubling all of their certifications they're hoping to make a crap ton more money doing this and it certifications are hot right now a lot of people are going for it a lot of people felt burned by other industries during covid so they have been trying to move into the tech sector so there's a lot of demand for it certifications right now and they're trying to profit from that you know who can who can really blame them but we have uh, new products over the next 12 months. The first coming to market in Q1 2024, that is the CompTIA Data X. It's part of the CompTIA Expert Series. Expert with an X. I don't know why that bugs me. It shouldn't. It shouldn't, but it does. Um, and then we have the AI Essentials is coming in. I believe I already mentioned that is coming in July of this year. We also have business essentials and soft skills essentials. I don't know how much these are actually going to catch on. I'm sure studying for these is going to actually teach people things, but there's a lot of different business essentials courses. There's a lot of soft skills essentials courses. I can't really see this as being a criteria for a job in other industries or even a job in the tech industry, like for a project manager in the tech industry of like, oh, you should have a comp to your business essentials. Like, I don't think any employer is going to really ask for this. It's not bad to have this in addition to other things on your resume. I just don't see this being a, a big point of like, oh, you need to have this in order to get this job. I think that it's still going to be like PMP or scrum certifications or things like that are going to be the, the more sought after ones. And this is just a nice to have resume fluff if you want to actually get them, but not anything that you have to seek uh, seek out. So then we have the CompTIA A+, plus, the little A+, because CompTIA A+, plus is still the A+, plus, the gold standard in doing like desk side support, technician kind of work. A lot of jobs in IT expect you to have an A+, plus in addition to some of the other ones, but A+, plus is kind of like the foundational one and has been for decades. But I don't know, this, this seems like it might 
kind of water down the value and confuse people when we're talking about like A plus Linux, A plus coding, A plus data. I know that, I mean, Linux is already big in the industry. I think the CompTIA Linux Plus is an underrated certification and it will definitely give you more value than you think on your resume on getting that. Um, I don't know that this is really going to give you a lot of value because CompTIA is more um, IT than coding. I don't think it's bad uh, to have you know any of these extra things, but I think that the, uh, the Linux Plus is gonna give, or any kind of Linux certification in the IT part of the tech sector is going to give you more uh, more value than something like this. I don't really think that this would be on on a job posting saying like, oh, we need you to have CompTIA little A plus coding. <laughs> I don't think they're going to say what what kind of projects have you worked on? Have you worked on? Do you have any open source projects on GitHub? I mean, that's kind of a different thing. I don't think too many people are into software development necessarily here. I think this is more kind of the IT sector of people that are watching this channel, at least currently. But uh, anyway, so we have the CompTIA, a the little A plus series, which I, I don't know that this is going to be super valuable uh, in terms of adding true, true value to your resume. But you know, they're, they're there. And these things are, it's never bad to have more, to learn more and to have more value to yourself as a, as a potential job candidate but I just don't think that these are going to be the primary ones that you should focus on and go for. There's also the CompTIA Pro Series, AWS Practitioner Pro. I'm not sure why someone would want this versus like just an AWS certification because you just go to Amazon, get an AWS certification. There's multiple tiers of them and you can just work your way up. I, I think that that's still gonna be the gold standard in terms of do you know AWS? Do you have an AWS certification from AWS, from Amazon? So uh, yeah, there's that, there's Full Stack Pro, which there's a lot of different uh, places where you can get uh, full stack coding certifications. Um, and then there's AutoCode Pro. I'm not, I'm kind of curious on AutoCode, what is going to be included here, but yeah, they're, they're ambitious. They're trying to make their money though. They're, they know that they have a name in the industry and they're trying to profit from it as much as humanly possible by just offering as many certifications, even if they're not going to catch on as much as they did starting decades ago when they first uh, introduced some of these things. Like I still feel A+, plus, Security+, plus, Linux+, plus, at least for like the first couple of years of your career are going to be the most valuable ones. But yeah, that's just my, uh, just my opinion on that. We also have, what else that I wanna mention on here? They're just touting their two pro, oh, the A plus cyber and A plus network are currently available through Coursera. I did take a look actually at this. So this is the CompTIA A plus, the, the little A plus network, right? Uh, and then we have the network client fundamentals. Uh, we can actually see a little bit more on the module content. So this is not, this is not bad. This is actually pretty nice information to know. Don't get me wrong. Uh, these things can get pretty pricey. So this is in the, um, you can enroll here. It's like a week of free and then it starts, uh, it starts actually billing you every month. Uh, it's included with Coursera plus I'm not trying to promote them or anything. Uh, it's 50, 50 or $60 a month now for Coursera plus it might be, it might be 60. It was 50 last I checked, but, um, anyway, yeah, it, it can get pricey if you have a year of this. But not bad, not bad information. I like Coursera sometimes. I don't like Coursera sometimes. It's kind of hit or miss based on who's actually developing the course. Some of them are good and some of them are kind of, in my opinion, just doo-doo. And some of, them, some of them actually have some AI teachers and it's kind of cringe, it's kind of uncomfortable. But you know, I'm sure some of my content is cringe too. So a lot of good stuff in here. But anyway, that is the CompTIA A plus little A plus network, and then we have the CompTIA A plus cyber, which has some good. Uh, I think some of this is good for sysadmins too. People are trying to get uh, into that because then we have Microsoft Windows administration over here, and then we have. I mean, this this could apply to a lot of things, not just for cybersecurity, but this could apply to a lot of things in the IT sector. So, uh, and then also Linux app server fundamentals. I, I think Linux is kind of underrated in the, uh, in, in terms of people learning, right? So, uh, what else do we have? Oh, I also wanted to mention yeah, the expert series, expert with an X. Uh, 
I also did want to mention, yeah, refreshes with the CompTIA, CompTIA Plus series include 2024 updates to Network Plus. That's going to apply to a lot of people because a lot of people already uh, are studying for Network Plus and they're planning on taking that this year. So that's going to be that's going to be a big one for a lot of you watching this uh, today. Cloud Plus, Pentest Plus, IT Fundamentals is this is the one that no one actually ever seems to want to go for. But this is updated and re it's it's kind of like the A plus light, basically. Right. So A plus certification, which is the two exams. This is like the light version of that. So, yeah, uh, update and rebranded as CompTIA Tech Plus. I think that's actually good because a lot of people are confused at what ITF stands for. They're like, oh, CompTIA ITF. I'm not really interested in whatever ITF is, but it is really just a tech a general tech basics certification. So uh, more information on specific launch dates and products will be announced in the coming weeks. I did contact, uh, not this guy, but I contacted someone else at CompTIA to see if I can get some more information on the exact release dates. I'm sure they won't tell me, but I'm at least trying. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys got something out of it. Food for thought if you're planning on getting some CompTIA certifications over the next year. Because there's going to there's gonna be so many more. Got to catch them all, of course. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you as always in the next one.